All right, guys. So we're going to be telling a little bit of stories today, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy them. Like I said, I got a website as well, warfitelite.com. Um, please check it out. What's going on, guys? Warfit Elite here, letting you guys know sports are coming back. So let's go through a little bit of history with Warfit Elite. Let's go. Alright guys, so these rats are very easy to spot. Um, if you are, you know, at a terminal or something, you'll see them crawling around, you know, um, usually hanging out in the lounges, you know, just trying to make conversation, be around people, just to try to one-up you, right? So, especially in wintertime, I mean, you could tell literally any story and they'll have a better story than you. We call them super truckers, one-uppers, whatever you want to call them. Rats, that's what they are, right? So those are the guys that kiss booty holes to everybody in the office. You know, they are the ones that will harass you, talk your ear off when you're just trying to get in and out. You know, you go into the driver's lounge, you go in to get a soda and get out. They bet, oh, where are you coming from? Oh, is it snowing on the east side? Is there snow coming on out west? And you're hooked. You're booked. I mean, there's no getting out of that conversation. He's going to talk you, talk you down for at least a good 30 minutes to an hour. Just of useless information, useless stories. The bad part is this type of driver is going to be the rat, right? These guys are going to be the ones that are going to be talking to all the DMs. He knows all the DMs. He's going to be talking to every DM, talking to you, trying to get some, you know, statement out of you about his DM. Oh, you got, you know, Jerry as a, G as a DM? What do you think about Jerry? Oh, you know, he kind of sucks at giving me loads. So what do you think he's going to do? He's going to go to Jerry, tell him, oh, this driver in 18236 says you suck at giving him loads. He's that guy. He's the guy that we have in this company that will take pictures of you when you're at shippers and receivers in flip-flops or if you don't have your vest on that's the type of guy that will take pictures of you send it over and try to get you in trouble just to kiss a little bit of butt and have a little bit of meaning in their life these are the guys that you have to try to avoid the best that you can we have a few of them that make trucking company other companies have a lot more like schneider or something you know you just, just got to be careful try to stay away from this type of person the super trucker you'll see them at the super trucker table at the you know the iron skillet or the country pride buffet that little rectangle super trucker table stay away from it you know get a corner booth and just stay away from their conversation so i got a funny story about this one so I've had, uh, you know, an EOD, you know, I was mentoring, of course, you know, we would go through everything back in Qualcomm, blah, 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 teach them how to run their clocks, you know, basic mentor things, right? So what I like to do is before they solo out, I like to go to Denver's, which was where I'm out of, and I like to literally do the back for the test out. But by that time, they already know what to do. Like we've already gone through backing, you know, I already taught them how to set up. I already taught them how to correct their mistakes. So if you're too tight, you know, you gotta pull up and you know, go left, create some room, right? Blah, blah, blah. They know how to correct their mistakes now. So what I do is, you know, the day before that they solo out, I like them to get practicing. So just here's the, you know, the terminal, you know, just practice, right? I'm only gonna be here to stop you from hitting anything because that's the only way you're gonna learn because literally tomorrow I'm not gonna be with you no more. So, what I do is I stand outside and I just watch them, make sure they don't hit anything and let them work through it. You know, they're not gonna have a good setup, let them work through it, know how to fix their, you know, their bad situation that they are, you know, gonna be in. So, that's what we're doing, right? I had this ELD, we were, we we're practicing. First one, he got it in with like two or three pull-ups was good. Second one, he was struggling. And I let them struggle because like I said, there's no help for me at that point to just tell them what to do. The best thing that you can do as a mentor when they're, 
when they're about to solo out, like they already know what to do, right? You already taught them and how to set up, how to back, how to correct it. At that point, just fixing it for them is gonna, you know, cripple them. So you have to let them stress, figure it out on their own because that's gonna boost so much of their confidence knowing that they can do that without you. Even if they struggle, they are gonna get it. They just need practice, they just need time, and that's what that time there is for. You know, and that's what we're doing, right? So we're working on the back end. He was working on his back end. I was just chilling, you know, looking at him, you know, just watching him, you know, and I stop. You know, you're about to hit something, you know, keep going and stop, you know, you're about to hit something, right? So we're at the terminal and, you know, some super trucker guy from one of our company, uh, you know, parked across the way, you know, comes up or whatever. And he's like, well, you know, if he set up better, you know, he can get it in there. No problem. What? <laughs> well, you know, if he set up better like this, you know, if he did a little setup like that, you know, he could get in there, you know, with no pull ups, he could just get right in. So to him, I say, well, yeah, I know that. But we're just working on, you know, his, his, you know, solo out, right? So he's like, anyways, let me show you a couple things, right? So he goes up to my ELD, right? Completely one-upping me in front of my ELD. You no, know, trying to better himself over me to my ELD. The most disrespectful thing that you can do. And I just sat there and I watched, right? Because these people are usually stupid. So, I just sat back and watched. You know, my ELD wasn't really having it. He was kind of upset already. So, he was just kind of mad at this guy. Like, who the, who, who the fuck are you, right? Who are you? So, anyways, this guy was coming up, you know, telling him about these things or whatever. And he's like, you know, this is this is how you do it or whatever, right? So, he was literally walking my ELD into the parking spot. Which is literally, like I said, the most crippling thing that you could do. But, he was absolutely garbage <laughs> right he <laughs> literally having him turn the wrong way like it's just you expect it you know it's coming like it's just insane right so my yodi gets mad he's like i don't even need here both of you guys why are you here get out of here that's my mentor that's my mentor you know so anyways he, he kind of like gets you know butt her or whatever and he kind of goes back to his truck with his own eld by the way and we get in and, and you know i talk to my eld or whatever and i'm like there's people in this in this industry that are like that, right? They are, we call them super truckers, we call them one-uppers, we call them the rats. Um, these are the people that, you know, have, think that they are better than everybody, think that they know things, and they really don't know much of anything, right? They're just the one-uppers. So anyways, we, you know, we work on it, you know, multiple more times, we get three or four more backs in, he finally is feeling confident, ready to go for his test. So as we're parked there, this guy has his ELD try to do the same thing now. So as he's guiding his ELD, his ELD is completely garbage, right? He has no idea what to do. He's turning the wheel the wrong way. He's just completely lost. And at that point, the pettiness, the pettiness of me wanting to go up there to that guy, and be like, this is actually how you know you get an ELD to back in or whatever. But I didn't. I wanted to. But it's just these guys are so annoying right they'll give you the the whole spew the whole story about how they did a 360 degree back in the winter the snow time from you know the hood of their truck butt naked right in the snow zero negative zero degrees like all right cool but at the same time you see them at the terminal during winter time in their truck shut down because there's snow on the road